This one here, if you uh, read it, let's read it first before I, I spoil the surprise. Uh, Quincy must create a four-digit PIN number. Well, N is the number PIN. For his ATM card, he may use the digits 0 through 9 with repetition. That's different than we've seen recently. If the first digit can't be a 0, now we're looking at limitations for specific digits. So that kind of lends itself to being, you know, if it's four digits, and this has special specific um, uh, limitations and the last digit must be odd. There are limitations to those two things, so we have to deal with those first. This then becomes a decision chart. It's really the only way of doing it. Uh, you can't do a combination or a permutation, especially with, with repetition. So, has to, your cannot be a zero. So there's only nine single digit numbers that are not zeros. And in terms of the number of odd, it's, it's one, three, five, seven, and nine. There's five different possibilities here. Now, it's not that five is an odd number. As we had a discussion in one of my classes, well, wait, if it, couldn't it be a one or a three or a seven or a nine? Why do we stick with five? Because that's the number of possibilities. Okay, number of possibilities, which brings us to this one. This may clarify some things. How many could be here? Well, there's no limitations there. And there's 10 single digit numbers. So you might say, well, wait, it can't be a 10. Each one of these is supposed to have a digit. Well, it is. And there's 10 possible digits that can go there, zero through nine and no limitations here so there's also 10. You multiply those together you get your 4500. All right. Now this one here is the weirdest name on the on the list. It's 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 this is well, I won't spoil the surprise again. A box contains 10 square chocolate cookies, 13 round chocolate cookies. I think the round ones taste better than the square ones. Just kidding. It's a shape thing. Um, five square vanilla cookies, 12 round vanilla cookies. So question is, what's the probability of reaching into the box, selecting a vanilla cookie if you know that it's a square? So given that it's a square, again, let's say these are in the, the same bag that the jelly beans were in. Okay, so we can reach into the bag and, and feel that it's square, but we don't know what flavor it is. Okay, flavors don't have different, different textures to it, let's say. Okay, so if I know that it's square, I don't care that there's 10 and 13 and 5 and 12 cookies. I know that it's a square cookie, so my denominator needs to, instead of being all the cookies out there, I just want the, only the square cookies. And the square cookies consist of the 10 square chocolate ones and the 5 square vanilla ones for a total of 15. Okay? Now, <clears throat> that we had to get to the end to be able to kind of say that. Now i got to go back. Sometimes we read these questions and then we don't... Uh, um, you know, we, we think we don't know them because we haven't gone back to refer to the questions again. I, you need to go back and look. Um, the probability of reaching into the box and selecting a vanilla cookie. Okay, so I know it's a square one. So I'm, I'm not dealing with these 12 round ones here. It's got to be, well, there they are, the five square vanilla cookies. There's only five of the square ones that are, in fact, vanilla. So that thing reduces pretty easily to one over three. Um, what do we call this? Well, this is the list. It's also kind of a conditional the list is the conditional one. So you're not going to be scored on whether you remember it's a list or a, or a um, decision chart or whatever it is. Uh, just understand that if, if you know something about it, given that means it's kind of one of these list conditional type problems.